I'm not the first person that's suggesting that Post Malone make an acoustic album, and I'm sure as hell not going to be the last. You know, this new cooped up Post Malone with Roddy Rich single really had me thinking about Post Malone's musical abilities. We've seen Posty do, you know, this pop rap for six years now, right? Ever since Stoney was released in 2016. And you know, he really blew up with White Iverson. That is pretty much the song that put him on the map. That is the first Post Malone song that I can personally remember, and it did live on Stoney. And ever since then, of course, Post Malone has found huge, huge commercial success with pretty much every single piece of art he puts out. Not only has he found the formula for like this perfect pop rap, trap type beats, production of any song that you could play at a party or a club with lyrics that are still emotional and still have meaning even though they could be played in a party setting. He just has this perfect cocktail for replayable music that everyone can enjoy on a large scale, especially for the radio. And he's pretty much done that for three albums with the exception of the song Feeling Whitney, which is personally my favorite Post Malone song because I love when Post Malone really strips down the beat and it's really just that acoustic style. Feeling Whitney was emotional and I absolutely loved the raw production that we got behind the vocals. And Posty has really showed us that he can sing very well. We know from many live performances and from his music in general that he's really not a rapper, but he is way more of a singer. And this could up single with Roddy Rich, it's great. I really like it. Right, and the Roddy Rich feature on here is cool. It's a fun song, but it is the same formula that we have heard of Post Malone from the last few albums. And with this being the lead single of the upcoming album, I pretty much fully expect for this to be another album worth of bangers with emotional penmanship, especially a lot about love and partying in general. And I'm not saying each album sounded exactly the same because it doesn't. I think Stoney has its own place. You could hear the evolution in Beer Bongs and Bentleys and even Hollywood's Bleeding, which I personally thought had a little more of a rock influence than the previous two albums. However, we all know that Post Malone has wanted to make a country album. And I'm not saying what I want has to be a country album exactly, but at least an album full of just straight acoustic songs. And I'm not talking acoustic remixes of Post Malone hits that we've already heard before. I'm talking straight acoustic tracks. We know his musicianship skills are there, and we know he can truly sing, especially without auto-tune. I mean, if you haven't heard his cover of I'm Gonna Miss Her and You Can Have the Crown, you gotta hear part of it. Just listen to this. If I ain't there fishing all the day, she'd be packing all her things. She, I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> And I even think that Post Malone can make that acoustic or even country fun. And I think his fan base will want to hear it. I think the reason he hasn't done something acoustic or country as of yet, I think it's pretty much probably his straight label just doesn't want to deal with maybe the backlash of him switching genres and not being able to sell enough records from it. However, from a musician standpoint, I want to see everything that Post Malone has. I mean, this will prove his musicianship skills, his ability to sing in his vocal range. I mean, you can hear that super famous Post Malone vibrato even in this song and how good it sounds over a live acoustic instrumental. So I think it would be a disservice to the fans, not just the fans, the people on this earth, if he doesn't put out an acoustic or country album by the time he is finished with his career. I mean, look at the facts. Just go back to Feeling Whitney. There are so many fans that absolutely love that song and so many people that love love these covers that Post Malone has done. And his core fan base is going to stick with Post Malone no matter what. He has had so much success and he even has that personality that people love. I mean, you see so many videos of Post Malone signing things and just cracking jokes with people and being so personable and real with other human beings. People love Post Malone and I love Post Malone and I want to see him do something like 
this. I'm just throwing this out there because I think it would be a great idea. And it's not the fact that, you know, his music is starting to sound the same because every song is a bang. I just want him to show his full range of musical skills and for him to do what he really wants to do. If this isn't something that he wants to do, obviously Post Malone, don't do it. But if this is something you truly want to do, I would love it. And I personally am all here for it. I just don't see a lot of reasons for him not to do it besides the fact that the record might not sell as well as his mainstream stuff. And that's okay because that's not what that record is supposed to do. I would love to see more raw, real Post Malone with hardships and even more heartbreak on these acoustic beats just like we heard on Feeling Whitney six years ago. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts about this are. Would you absolutely love to see an acoustic or even country album from Post Malone? Or do you want him to just kind of stick to the status quo, do his own thing, and have him make the bangers that we all know and love and hear on the radio year round? So that's it for me. Hit a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitch at EJSpark1. And as always, you already know what it is. It's peace, love. I love s'mores. EJ out.